In Pennsylvania and New Jersey, some inmates may soon serve some of their sentences at home. It's part of the plan to stop the spread of the virus in prisons. Natasha Brown has a closer look. With New Jersey dealing with more than 54,000 positive coronavirus cases and Pennsylvania nearly 20,000 cases, governors in both states are using any and all means necessary to try to slow the spread of this deadly virus. The coronavirus pandemic has reached prison systems around the country. Now in New Jersey and Pennsylvania, governors in both states are taking drastic legislative action to try to slow the spread of the virus in those populations. Today I am signing an executive order to help preserve this balance between health on the one hand and public health and public safety. In an attempt to balance public safety and public health, low-risk inmates 60 years old or older who have underlying health issues will be placed on temporary home confinement in New Jersey or be granted parole if eligible. We are setting up a robust process through which each potentially eligible individual must be determined to be safe to place on home confinement and each will be required to have an individualized release plan. No violent offenders will be considered. On the heels of Governor Murphy's order, Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf is also now ordering the release of as many as 1,500 to 1,800 vulnerable nonviolent inmates into supervised home confinement. Governor Wolf also announcing plans to help the hospital systems in the Commonwealth hit hard by the COVID-19 crisis. Today, I'm announcing the hospital emergency loan program. This is a $450 million low interest loan package that will provide immediate working capital that will allow our medical facilities to get the personal equipment and the personal protective equipment they need. The release of nonviolent older prisoners in Pennsylvania could happen as early as next week. Meantime, officials in both New Jersey and Pennsylvania are continuing to try to secure much needed protective gear for hospital workers, for nursing homes, and for prison populations as well. In Fairmount, Natasha Brown, CBS3 Eyewitness News.